So guys, today I'll show you how to add SSH key to the GitHub account. So what's the benefit of adding this SSH key to your GitHub account? So you can just um, just send the local codes from your local machine to the GitHub account very easily. You can do this through the SSH key. I mean the SSH connection. So let's do that. So for the very first time, you have to just go to a page, what is called git.git-scm.com and download this git version control. Then you have to go to the directory where you have downloaded this folder and then download this file. So you can just install it here. Okay. So you can just go like this, you decide. Get from the command line, so the interpret software. Okay, then no problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm just just keeping everything default as it was. Okay, so we uh, okay, done. Install. Okay, done. So you have to launch the git bash yeah this is the bash folder bash file for the git like this it will um, just help us to control the version in the local machine and it will help us to send the local code to the website okay so let's see how can i do this so open git bash yeah i'm doing that so to that you have to like write this code here i have to you have to put your email address and then just press enter Then just press enter. So they're asking for a passphrase for securing the SSH connection. So I'm gonna put something. Okay, done. So now, now what do you need to do? You can see that public key and the private key both are located in this folder so i'm gonna go to this folder like c after c i have to go to users users then jahid jahid then sh here i have i can see the sh and this is pub this is the public key and this is private key then what you need to do is like you have to you have to add your SSH key to the SSH agent. So for that, you have you need to just you can just start the SSH agent, the background. So for that, you have to write this code. If all this one. So my <clears throat> my agent is running in the background so now what I need to do I have to copy this and paste it here now I have to give the same password I have written before 
okay now my SSH has been added in the git bash so now what I need to do is just go back to my directory yeah, this directory I mean this SSH directory so there there is one is public and one is uh, like the private key so I'll not just uh, I just have to be sure which one is public key. so I can open this by through the notepad let's copy this so public key is really um, anyone can see is see this public key but private key is, is secret so you have to be sure that you, you you're just copying your public key now what you need to do is just you, you just have to go back to your github and go to the ssh portal like your profile for example i'm in my, my github profile so i can just go back to the settings and there there is like ssh portal so i can tap i can just go in to this tab and new ssh key so i have to like write something myself any name no problem then you just have to like copy this public key and paste it here yeah done so now i can check like my all of the workings are all of the files are working good or not so now I, what i need to do i have to just go to the cmd and look for some code so for that I'm, i have prepared some code so i'm going i'm going to this directory and let's check the git status and there's one modified file so i'm gonna add it git add then git commit new two 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 okay now git push So it's, uh, it's asking for my deep passphrase. So I'm gonna put my secret passphrase here. Now it's done. So this SSH keys is working. How can I know? You can see that this SSH key is working because this private key is helping me um, what is located in my local PC to connect this PC with the GitHub and send the, all of the codes from my local PC to the GitHub account and now you can see in my profile repos there is a commit one minute ago one is new t2 and that's all for you today so see you next time